Dressing for work can be quite tricky sometimes, especially when we feel like we need to conform to a certain workplace, um, like what you wear policy, and we feel like we kind of lose our sense of style a little bit. So today I wanted to talk you through creating a really small work capsule. So we have 15 items here. I'm going to also create 15 outfits and also kind of talking through like how to keep your style, how to make things feel more like you and how to make your work outfits just a little bit cooler and not so kind of formal and like typical, I guess. This is to help you if you really struggle to get dressed in the morning for work, you struggle to know what to buy for your wardrobe or you struggle to kind of feel like you have enough to wear and that you think you always need to be constantly buying more or you feel like you just don't have enough versatility in your workwear pieces. So I'm going to talk through the 15 items, why I chose them, and then I will show you the outfits at the end of the video. I've also done a blog post for this, so I'm going to link that below so you can go and kind of save the imagery of each of the outfits to your phone or to your laptop or wherever so you can go back and reference them. So I'm just jumping in in the middle of editing and I realized a big chunk of my video didn't get recorded so I can't yeah basically the whole talk through of the items got cut out. So I just picked one coat for this 15 piece wardrobe um, because I think it's nice to have something that you can kind of change up a little bit but when you are limited it's nice to just have one coat that will go with absolutely everything so in terms of this kind of color palette this coat goes really well and it's also nice that i haven't chosen like a black coat or something because this kind of brightens up my outfits and coming into spring it's much nicer to have those brighter outfits so this long cream coat is really good and it works with all the different lengths so it works with the um dress because they're both kind of a longer length this is probably like a midi length coat, um, quite long. And I love it and I've worn it through the whole of winter and I'm going to keep wearing it through the whole of spring as well. So this is just a really good option. And if you are building something a little bit more, you know, like a capsule, like a smaller group of things, um, yeah, it's just good to kind of really think about what colours are going to be in it and what you need from your outerwear. So once you have the kind of neutral basics covered in your outerwear, then you can start injecting like, a pop of color or like a real interesting texture or even a print. I also included one dress. Um, now this might not be suitable for everybody's work wardrobe or for everyone's workplace. Um, it's a wrap dress. It's because it's knitted, it kind of makes it a little bit casual, but the wrap style and the length of it and it's midi length make it really dressy. So it's kind of has that balance of both. And then depending on how you style it, it can be dressier or, um, or more casual. Maybe the V front isn't going to be everybody's cup of tea for work. Something like this, I could easily layer um, like a black roll neck or something underneath as well. So it can be really appropriate. And it just depends if, you know, having a local top is an issue in your workplace or not. It really shouldn't be, but some places it is. And it just depends what you're comfortable with too. But, you know, you could pick, um, you know, just like a simple midi dress, could be like a crew neck, could be a slightly different V neck or like a higher one. Um, but I think a long sleeve option is really great because it just means on those cooler days you can throw on just one piece and you've kind of got everything sorted um, and it'll keep you warm because you've got the long sleeves. If you prefer something that you can kind of layer up with different tops, maybe like a roll neck or a shirt or blouse underneath it, you could go for something with a crew neck and sleeveless and then you can kind of layer different sleeves underneath it. So. You can kind of play around if you are going to introduce one dress into your capsule similar to the coat just make sure it really works with other pieces you know if you do want to do that layering underneath it just make sure you know colors go together and that they fit together and they're not bulky and things like that uh where was it here <laughs> um i tried to put my rail back in the exact same order as well but i don't know if i've achieved it um okay so the next thing i guess is blazers it kind of ties in a little bit with the outerwear but this is kind of outerwear that you end up wearing around the office a lot of the time so i've picked two different options and i think they're both very different they're kind of almost opposites of each other so they work quite well in either adding a little bit more smartness or a little bit more of a relaxed vibe so the first one here is just this kind of beige almond kind of color it's a quite a classic fit blazer i would say when it has like you know it's quite tailored and it has all the kind of typical blazer detailing you know it's got the kind of paneling seams it's got quite a slim lapel just very classic single breasted pockets on the front hip length ish and maybe even a bit longer this goes really well with white uh black and um, denim 
um it goes great over like you know like a printed blouse i have one here in a minute um just because it's just a solid color and it's quite a neutral as well um the other option is a black blazer so for me this is like a little bit more of a relaxed vibe it's a longer cut and it's also kind of wider so it is that bit more relaxed it has a slightly different lapel it's kind of wider and um, but then it almost comes in uh, a little bit shorter than the other one um has pockets as well this has two buttons on it but i rarely wear this blazer closed but just because of the relaxed fit of it and it's handy to have one in black because again black goes with pretty much everything so i've kind of got both options whether i want something to brighten up my outfit or i want to you know create a bit of contrast with the black and again these two colors are kind of the foundation of this whole capsule you've got the very light neutrals and then the blacks and then a little bit of color in the middle and these both go with all of those things so again if you're wearing maybe a dress or a top and jeans and you want to smarten it up go for the smarter blazer and then if i was wearing maybe something a little bit more dressy that i like a blouse that i kind of wanted to dress down a little bit for work i would go for the more relaxed style so one of the blouses i have in the videos i don't have with me here um so it was just a white blouse it wasn't a simple basic one it was had kind of a bit of a neck detail so it was that basic white cream kind of blouse that will go with everything but just had a little bit more detail going on had this kind of twisted neck and um, which you'll see in the outfits i'll try and pop in a clip as well as i'm talking so it was just a really handy piece and i think something that most people will have in their wardrobes if it's not a classic white shirt it could be just kind of like a silk blouse or maybe it's a crew neck blouse just something very very simple that basically goes with everything so it's the kind of piece that would go with every pair of trousers you own every pair of jeans you own you know if you have any skirts in here as well that's something that would go with that and it'll sit under your blazers nicely as well um so that is kind of like the first top that you would probably include in a in a capsule like this especially if it's a more classic work wardrobe um but i also included this silk blouse just for a little interesting pop of personality like i said sometimes when we're trying to dress for work it can be very like almost you lose your sense of style and your sense of self and when you don't feel like yourself in your outfits it kind of throws you off a little bit so being able to just have a really smart piece it's still like a nice collared silk shirt it's ve very smart you know you could wear this with a pencil skirt or a pair of tailored trousers and heels and it's pretty corporate or you can wear it with a pair of jeans and you know some boots or loafers and it's quite relaxed so it's all about the styling and I love this just because leopard print is just that little injection that I love in my wardrobe and little hints here and there and it just makes it feel a little bit more like me. So just having a, any kind of print, it could be a stripe, it could be a floral, it could be just like a bold color or just something that really feels like you're putting your own stamp on something. It could be whatever your best color is that like, you know, really enhances your complexion, go with your hair color and your eye color and everything. Um, and that you always get compliments on, like get a blouse in that color and wear that. And then because this isn't a super um, dressy work wardrobe, it's kind of that in between, I wanted to include some knitwear. So the first one is, and obviously because it's still kind of spring as well, first one is a classic crew neck, quite fitted cashmere jumper. So this is not super casual because it is fitted, it still looks really kind of um, slick and sleek and tucked into some tailored trousers it looks so polished as well as long as you kind of keep your cashmere or any kind of jumpers like debobble them make sure they look more expensive and they look new and they don't look like you've worn them a million zillion times but again in this color a really great option for me yours might be white black gray your perfect color whatever again works with your color palette and then for something which I guess is more casual, is more like an oversized chunky jumper um, that is just kind of, I don't know, you'll see in the outfits, but it just gives a little bit more of a relaxed vibe, but it's still a really like cool piece um, and it's still totally appropriate for work depending on where you work, but for me it is. Um, but it's just a really nice piece of knitwear and it's great for those colder days when you need to really layer up and stay warm. Speaking of layering up and staying warm, I included this chunky cardigan as well. Um, and I just, I like that this is also another injection of pattern and it's another, it's a brand that I love. It's from Mother of Pearl. And I think even just having a brand that I love 
in my work wardrobe. It just makes me feel like I'm dressing more like me and in line with my personal style and my style ethos as well, because they're a sustainable brand. And I just think it's the kind of piece that when I wear it, I feel amazing. So I could wear something like this with a really slick black top underneath, black or white, a pair of tailored black trousers, and it will look super, super smart. And because it's good quality, it's not gonna look, like if I wore this cardigan to work, it might look a bit more relaxed and like I put in less effort, but this one just is that bit more elevated as well. And I'm not saying these pieces need to be expensive or designer, but it's when they just look like better quality. So just kind of paying attention to either debobbling your knitwear um, so that they look newer for longer, even if it is acrylic. Sometimes you can use those debobblers on non-wool jumpers too. Um, or if it's secondhand, you know, reaching for those higher quality pieces but at the lower price point because you've gotten them secondhand. And again, because they're secondhand, you may just need to take better care of them as well. So moving on to bottoms, I included one skirt just because I wanted something that wasn't just trousers. Um, and I didn't include jeans in this either because I wanted something that I know a lot of people can't wear jeans to work. Even if you've got a relaxed, more relaxed environment and jeans are still kind of off the table. So I do have two pairs of trousers, but I want to include a skirt as well as a point of difference because when you style this with some of the jumpers and boots and things, it just creates a completely different outfit. So this one, if you can see, it has this really subtle animal print. So again, it's just like that little hint of my personality. Um, but when I'm wearing it, it doesn't look like, as you can see from here, you can't really tell it's an animal print. And when you wear it with something basic like crew neck cashmere jumper or, you know, a chunkier jumper over the top, um, it tones it down a lot. So it's a very comfortable piece as well. It's like a stretchy jersey, really comfy to wear. But I just think because it's black and it's not too in your face, I feel like it's a super wearable piece. And then I included two pairs of trousers, a pair in white and a pair in black. So they're both kind of opposites of each other. Again, similar to my previous blazers. This pair, the white pair, they're a straight leg, kind of cropped at the ankle. And they have this elasticated panel at the back, which makes them super comfy. So as your body stretches after lunch, um, these are still super comfortable to wear. And I do find like I get kind of more like IBS flare ups when I'm like running around the office or in, on work days. So wearing something like this for me when I just don't know how my body's going to respond to my day is really, really good. Um, also, they just brighten everything up. It's really fresh for spring and I'll continue to wear them into summer as well. And then this pair is kind of just like this tuxedo black white leg trouser, really nice um, details on it. Bit of a thread coming out of them. But um, yeah, so these are gonna look super smart. So anything you put with these, is just gonna look polished for work. Um, just make sure when you get something like this that they're a really good length on you, whether you wanna wear them with heels or flats or both, getting them tailored to be the perfect length will just make sure they look more chic on you and less sloppy because if they're too long, then they're going to look sloppy and drag on the ground. And if maybe if they're too short and they're not the right fit, they're not going to look ideal either. So yeah, just a really, really great piece and really versatile as well. And I also love to wear these for like nights out, for like a bodysuit and, you know, during the day with trainers and a cool piece of knitwear as well. So this might be a work capsule, but any of these, any and all of these pieces can be worn really dressed down as well. As long as you style it with the right pieces, you don't just have to keep your workwear pieces for work and if it's a case that you want to invest in some really nice pieces for work but you can't justify it because you think maybe you know it's only for work um then by all means wear them at the weekends wear them on holidays just find ways to style these pieces up so for example my black blazer love to wear that on a night out over jeans and a nice top or over like a little slinky dress something like that these trousers look great the white ones we just like a uh, tank top and sandals in summer. My, my knitwear, like just a pair of jeans and trainers or jeans and boots. And they just, all of these pieces get so much wear. My coat as well. I even wore this out for a walk in the park this morning over just some trackies and a jumper, and some trainers. They don't have to be kept for that smarter wear. You can just mix and match those smart pieces with those more casual pieces and just kind of find the balance that works for you. Adding in things like jewellery as well can be a really great piece to add that little bit of personality. So if you work in a very corporate environment and you find you always have to wear like two and three piece suits, play with your jewellery, play with your shoes, play up, you know, where can you add a colour pop or print or 
just a statement, you know, whether it's something that's like a gold hoop, but that just really feels like something that you wear all the time. And like when you don't have them on, you don't feel like yourself, you know, try and incorporate them into your work wardrobe. Okay, I'm gonna hand this back to past me who had a nice face of makeup on and can continue with the rest of the video. One thing I do wanna mention is this bag which is kind of my only smart handbag. But I think again, this color just goes really well with any of these colors here. And so it's basically gonna go with every outfit. And what's nice about a bag like this is it does make your outfit look that bit smarter. So where I'm choosing things like knitwear or, you know, kind of a more relaxed Jersey midi skirt, having a bag like this with me is gonna elevate my outfit back up to that kind of smart level. So find something that's so find something that you feel is elegant and sophisticated and looks really smart the kind of bag that you might wear to a job interview wear that to your job every single day and you will feel so smart and you will feel like you're dressed the part as well lastly I have three pairs of shoes to share the first pair is for people who don't like heels at work because if you have to walk a lot on your commute to work or commute home or you walk around the office a lot you may not want to wear heels these are a great option. They're really smart because the pointy toe, they almost look like a heel and there is elongating as a heel because of the pointed toe, but they're totally flat. Nice little sling back. They go with a lot of things here. I wouldn't say everything. They probably depend, it depends on your own style. If you would wear the, this kind of shoe with a dress, I possibly wouldn't just because of, just because it feels a bit too feminine for me. But if feminine is your thing, then these are great for Dresses, skirts, trousers, anything. They're just a pair of flats. You could also opt for loafers, which are a smarter looking shoe, a little bit edgier sometimes maybe, or a brogue or a ballerina flat, something like that. But I think having a smart pair of flats is really useful. I've also got a classic pair of like pointed court shoes because I think you can't really go wrong with a pair of shoes like this for a smart work wardrobe. And the heel is really teeny, so they're very comfortable. Um, they're also, the, the soles are quite cushioned, like around the ball of the foot and the heel. So if I needed to wear a smarter shoe to work someday, I probably could last most of the day in these, um, or at least the day in the office, I could just have some flats in my bag to throw on um, from my commute in and out. But note that all the shoes I'm choosing are in, also in really neutral colors. So they go with the rest of the wardrobe and they're just kind of really, it makes it really cohesive and they basically will go with Pretty much everything again and lastly i chose a pair of long boots because i love a boot i find them a lot more comfortable than it than flats or heels um just because of how your foot's enclosed in them and they just stay on better and you can wear socks and that just makes everything more comfortable but i chose a long boot because i find this looks really chic when you wear it with uh, midi skirts or midi dresses and the kind of you can't really see a gap then between the boot and the hem hemline that you're wearing. So I find that really, really sophisticated and really elongating to an outfit. Whereas where you when you wear a midi skirt or dress and you and it kind of ends here and then you have an ankle boot that begins here, you're left with this block of skin. Sometimes you can kind of elongate the leg a bit if you want to wear tights. If it's a black boot, you can wear black tights, but it doesn't always work. So I find a long boot is just really useful if you struggle with that like awkward gap with skirts and dresses. Um, I did want to include a pair of ankle boots in this capsule, but I actually, originally I did, and then when I found when I was styling things up, I just found that this was the smarter option for every outfit I styled, so I chose this one. So I removed them and added in some extra clothing because I find it's great to have shoe options, but you don't want too many shoe options if you're going to limit your items. Obviously, if you're not setting yourself a specific number it's a, it's a lot easier to kind of add in different things and of course you could just not include shoes at all in your work wear wardrobe and then just wear any shoes you feel like on the day because if you have a lot of shoes you might want to have that option of being able to style these pieces with any shoes you own and give you even more outfit options because shoes do really transform an outfit so there are my 15 items I think I had three pairs of shoes the bag I didn't include in the 15 in the 15 item count, but I did want to mention it because it's really handy to have a really smart bag that is just going to elevate every outfit just that little bit more. And you also may need a bit more room in your work bag for like laptop or notebooks or whatever, lunch bag, whatever you need. Um, so 
having that sign of larger tote bag option is great. I have um, one coat, two blazers, one cardigan. So they're kind of like the outerwear pieces. Um, two jumpers for winter to spring, but I would swap those out when it comes to warmer weather and I would add in more like shirts and blouses and things like that. I might even swap in an extra dress or a skirt. I have one dress because that's kind of all I need for this little capsule. I don't wear dresses that much to work, but they are really useful if you do struggle with, you know, every day trying to think of a top and bottom that goes together. Dresses can just be a really quick throw on piece. I have two pairs of trousers and one skirt and I think three bottoms with one, two, three, four tops is a really good combination because if you multiply, let's just pretend that this black skirt is plain, completely plain. So if I have four tops and three bottoms, multiply them by each other if they all mix and match, that's 12 outfits already. Um, so why I'm saying pretend it's plain is because I probably wouldn't wear my leopard print and this zebra print skirt together. But that's the only combination I wouldn't wear. So between all of those, um, I pretty much have 11 outfits and that's not even taken into consideration if I swap out the different shoes. So I have 11 outfits. If I wear each of them with each of the different pairs of shoes, that gives me 33 combinations. And then, and then maybe I could choose to wear it with a blazer or without a blazer. So if I have two blazers and then the option number three would be no blazer. That's 33 multiplied by three. So that's like 99 outfit options already. And I haven't even counted the coat or the cardigan. So just seeing how quickly you can do that kind of fashion mats and get really versatile pieces and really quick outfits is really handy. And also it just means that when you are getting dressed in the morning and you're putting together tops and bottoms, if you know they just go, every top goes with every bottom, you can kind of just grab and go. And then all you have to think about is shoes, accessories, throw on your coat, throw on your work bag and you're good to go. So I hope this helps. I hope you enjoy the outfits. Do um, head to that blog post as well if you want to save all the outfits for later and kind of you'll be able to save the images to your phone and you'll just get a better overview. And that way when you're kind of thinking this through in relation to your own pieces in your wardrobe and what ones you could swap in and out, you can kind of really, it'll just be easier to think it through in relation to your own wardrobe when you can kind of see it broken down in that blog post in imagery. I'm going to pass you over to outfit version of me and I hope you enjoy this video and I will see you really soon in the next one. Bye.